everyone, hello. I'm sitting outside the law office actually because we are about to go sign my divorce papers for the second time. If you guys missed yesterday's video, I caught you guys up on why I have to sign these papers a second time. But I'm actually kind of glad because the first time I didn't film because I didn't know that I was actually um, signing my official papers. Um, which I talked about in a prior video too. I believe it's called I signed my divorce papers or something like that um, I went in and I didn't know that these would be the papers So I didn't know it was gonna be that special of a day and it turns out it wasn't in the first place because now I have to sign them again Okay, long story short. I'm gonna go sign my divorce papers. I Did it I signed my divorce papers and they're gonna file them today, which means 90 days from today I am officially done with this chapter of my life. The only two good things that came from it are sitting in my back seat and they were very well behaved. Oh, now he's doing scary demon voice saying mama. But they were very well behaved in there. I was actually very worried. The first time I did this, my friend Jackie sat in the car with them so that way I wouldn't have to bring them in. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited and to celebrate, I'm gonna go to Miss Lucille's Marketplace. It is my favorite little vintage market. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna browse and probably buy myself a victory plant or something. We made it to the happiest place on earth. Big helpers, they're in charge of the basket. They must have just restocked these because these are the most amazing wax melts and sometimes they're out of the really good ones, like Fruit Loops. They're still out of Fruit Loops. That's my favorite probably. There's some really cute stuff in here. Things I don't need. I'm being drawn to this basket for some reason, but Lord knows I don't need another basket. There's a lot of cute things in here. I don't know what that is, but I want it. Do I need another picnic basket? If anything in this store is possessed, it is these dolls here. That one looks kind of like me. Oh my god, I was just thinking about how badly I want one of these, but it's $85. Soap. Whatever this is. Those would be fun for a craft, maybe. The leather purse station. More vintage stuff. Oscar the Grouch trash cans. Kids for sale, handmade. This one is one of my favorites. It looks like it's a lot of junk, but it's actually a lot of really interesting things to look at. And look, another picnic basket I might want. They have vintage Pyrex over here, which I don't know anything about, but I know that people collect them. And this little bowl stand is the cutest thing I've ever seen, but it's $95. Oh, look at over here. There's a uh, Barbie torso in a bag. Let it be known I'm not wearing my mask in here because I'm literally the only person in this 52,000 square foot warehouse. No, I look like the Arby's guy. Kinda cute. Okay, and we're out. Fivel had to get his special treat for behaving. It is a $1 bag of their really good caramel corn. And I'll show you everything I got at home. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Miss Lucille's. I'm really excited about this. I only planned on getting a plant today, but the plant shop that I usually go to or like the small business that I usually go to, they are expanding. They are getting two booths instead of one. I've showed you guys their booth a couple times now. Um, so they didn't have a whole lot there and the plants that they did have, I already own, long story short. So did not end up getting a plant, but I did get a couple other things instead. Okay, so thing number one is a planter. I'm gonna put a plant in this and I'm so excited about it. It's like this green speckled color and this thing was $12. So it's gonna look like, okay, I guess I don't actually have to give you an example, but I'm gonna put a plant in here. But this, this is my favorite thing I could have gotten. I actually saw it the last time I was there and I did not buy it. I assumed it wouldn't be there when I went back, but it was, so naturally I had to buy it. It's a mushroom. It's a glass mushroom and it's so cute. It's just so whimsical. I don't know, is this a weird thing to have? I just think it'd be really cute on like a plant shelf or something. Or in the kids room, I don't know, it's just really cute. And then the last thing that I got, I could not pass up all of the Pyrex. Like every vintage booth in there has at least like one Pyrex thing. They're all different patterns, 
Um, there's like complete sets, there's just cups, there's just plates, there's like big pieces and small pieces and casserole dishes galore. I really, if I had the space, I would definitely be a Pyrex collector. I love it. Reminds me of my grandma. I believe she had a Pyrex set. I remember it was like a mustard color along like white dishes. I know nothing about what's rare and what's not though. And I know that some of the pieces can be like very pricey and serious collectors will like scour the internet for those things. So what I got is this harvest pattern Pyrex casserole dish because I actually don't even own a single casserole dish that I'm aware of. I think I own a bread pan and that's usually what I will cook things in, but I don't have any casserole dishes. And this year I believe will be the first Thanksgiving in this apartment that I'm actually gonna do like real Thanksgiving. Last year, Nick was in town, so we did it a couple weeks before, and it was very casual. I had my blood clot at the time, so I couldn't do any real cooking. So I thought this year would be our first one. Yes, I'm thinking way ahead, and I thought, how cute would this be for Thanksgiving? Some sweet potato casserole in here or something? And I might start collecting, who knows? I think I just said this was the Harvest Pyrex. It's Old Orchard apparently, and I found the whole collection on Etsy. So if I did want to collect this exact one, I could, but I feel like I would be more of the type of person to just collect random pieces based on what colors I liked, not exactly like collecting all of one pattern. Cause honestly, a lot of these bowls and stuff I would never use. So that was the last of the things that I got from Miss Lucille's, but a couple videos ago, or maybe the last video, they blur together for me now. This is the 10th daily vlog in a row. I showed you guys half of Brian's Father Day, Father's Day present. So Brian, if you're watching, I'm about to show them the second part of your present, and you can't see this until Father's Day. So this is another thing from Etsy. The shop that this thing came from is South Lake Gift. This is so cute. Can you even tell that this is a candle? Like, obviously it's wrapped a little weird to be cereal, but it's got the cute little Lucky Charms pieces. And then it has like the mushroom, or no, not mushroom, sorry. I'm thinking about that thing that I just bought from Miss Lucille's. Marshmallows, <laughs> it has the marshmallows. That is so cute and it does smell really good, actually. And it came with like, what is this? Oh, those are the shooting stars. I thought they were candy corns and then it's got the rainbows in there and then it's got a spoon. I'm not going to take all of it out because I'm going to probably wrap it in this box, but how cute is that? Okay, really quick because Fievel just woke up, but I wrapped the present, the candles in here and then here's the spoon that I showed you guys a couple of videos ago that I got for him. Obviously, he loves cereal. Good snacks. Sleeping. Oh no. Oh wait, he's awake. Oh, oh sorry. He's sorry. Okay. Jeez. Rockabye baby is on little baby bum and they both shushed me. But for real, it actually is bedtime, at least for the kids. I still have to film, edit, and post my exclusive video for this week because even though I'm daily vlogging, I still have my OnlyFans and Patreon video of the week to do on top of that. So one of these days this week, which happens to be today, I'm really rambly today, is a video a day that I have to film, edit, and post two videos. So it's kind of a lot. This video might be a little bit short, that's why. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's daily vlog.